What's up guys, how y'all doing? It's me, Johnny, and welcome back to another one of our videos, and finally, it's time for rewards! Yes, I am back in the SO5 game, as you guys know, and we have something to open up this time around. It sadly doesn't include a tier 5 super rare, because uh, let me just go ahead and show you the teams. We have gone ahead and played in cap 270 super rare, um, sadly... Uh, Sven Minans in a 5-1 victory, couldn't get a single decisive, really upset me. But we had Tsigankov do really well, exactly as I expected Tsigankov uh, to do in that matchup, even against Real Sociedad, I think I even mentioned it in the video. Andre Almeida getting an, an assist with the last touch of his game, which was amazing as well. And then Blint obviously not necessarily scoring too great in a match where they have conceded. And Vogo though, surprisingly, 95.5 points. Uh, from a super rare right there and a clean sheet against PSG. Sadly, we missed out on a reward on like with like a five point gap or whatever. It, it's not that big. And yeah, it is what it is. I, I would genuinely just put it down to Sven Minans not getting involved in a 5-1 victory. Going down the list, you can see that we had the all-star super rare team ready to fly and do well. But... As you guys might have uh, recognized, this game week, everyone was looking at Feyenoord and everyone was happy when they saw that this guy, Bart Newcop, he started off so well into the game and then got a red card. And after that red card, the game changed. Zeruki had to be subbed off for tactical reasons. And, you know, it just ruined my game week, basically. In many many of my teams so let me just show you what happened and also by the way opta scoring for this game was horrible petrauda had a shot on target ansko lost like 15 points in the last few minutes which didn't make any sense so yeah uh it never got rescored properly as well uh i'm a bit upset about that one i will have to have to admit but this team sadly missed out on a reward and it wasn't even too far away because Getson smashed it, like absolutely smashed it. If we look at Getson's scores lately, this guy has been unreal. I mean, look at these scores, man. He is so good. And I'm so happy that I have him. He's one of my favorite players to watch. But yeah, that didn't work out. Jimenez wasn't able to score, didn't necessarily get any big chances either. But he did play really well in terms of helping out the team and stuff. So that was fine. Cap 270 rare. As I expected, the boys did well, and Diaye actually scored a goal, which was huge. Nopat didn't get the clean sheet, but as he always does, he gets some decent AA. Gift Orban didn't score, but Shimanski smashed it, as I fully expected. 140 points of my captain there, which will get us a reward. All-Star Rare Pro flopped, uh, sadly, due to the fact that Taremi uh, couldn't get involved in the game properly and get a lot of goals, I guess. But yeah, it is what it is. And Alex Garcia in a tough matchup, obviously only coming up with 53.5 and then 68.2 uh, in the end from the Super Rare. Liverpool stack sadly failed. Uh, it's fine. I didn't expect these, uh, this one to do uh, too well, but it was really good to see how good McAllister has been in that game. And it showcases to me that it, moving forward, once Liverpool do get a number six, he will be a lot more efficient in terms of attacking. And then Trent, obviously, will benefit from that number six massively as well. when he can move forward without having to worry as much about the defense. Uh, but yeah, uh, going down to the all-star rare, you can see that Hansko uh, sadly didn't get the best score. But you can tell that we have had a great squad right here, uh, where I definitely captained the wrong person in hindsight. Uh, ideally, should have done... Uh, the goalkeeper actually uh, but no one does that so we're gonna win a reward there which is gonna be a tier five i believe and then on the 23 rare kirk Drew and benfica just got smashed uh, porto conceded a goal check he didn't do anything so on the 23 didn't do anything for me but we still managed to get rewards and let's see what we get yes we're back in the soul coin game we are getting ourselves i believe 3100 or something yep there we go I'm getting a Premier League card from Cap270. Okay, that's cool. And then we are getting something from All-Star Rare, which is a Tier 5 Rare. Let's open that one first. What's it going to be? It is... Okay. Midfielder. Kaiseri. Okay, it's Oliver Kemen. Who are you? Kemen, are you playing? That's my big question. Okay. He's... 
he's all right. He is a little bit more, I mean, he can play CDM, right mid, and center mid, which is quite interesting. I guess with certain matchups, he could be useful in capped. He does get decent scores. He's quite average, but again, it's only a cap mode player. Coming at around to like 25 euros, I assume. That's fine. And then here's the better reward, I guess. What's it going to be? Premier League, English, goalkeeper. What? Spurs? Frazier Foster. Hold on a second. What does he go for as a backup goalkeeper? Hey, 67 bucks. That's not too bad. He's selling for something, I guess. I mean, I, I'm more inclined to sell him for sure. I'm, I'm not interested in keeping any of these guys, but that's that's a nice, like, what, 70 euros, 75 euros uh, in terms of rewards. That's cool. That's not too shabby. I'll take that. Now, for this current game week, I don't have any team. I do not have anyone playing midweek uh, apart from Minans. Oh, Viaman is playing already. There we go. Viaman is already playing. They're losing, but he has good AA. What a guy. 30 minutes in. Love that. Has he created a big chance or something? What has he done? Attacking, let me see. Attacking penalty area. No, no big chances. He's just doing well. I like that. Um, but yeah, I only have teams filled with no game players with just one player that has a game in each one of these to boost the XP. And actually talking about the XP real quick, I would love to double check. Uh, some of these players' XPs, have they gone up? Have they gone down? Griezmann is up to 9% now. Love that. Uh, Griezmann's price seems to be going up quite a bit now, by the way, uh, which is great to see. A lot of people are realizing he's one of the only uh, top uh, forwards in Europe left to play, especially now that Neymar has gone as well. What has happened to Neymar? The man has gone to al Ahli and he is down to 500. Oh, wow, that is crazy. Uh, but yeah, apparently there are offers on the table for Mo Salah and Alisson. If those go through, I'm going to cry. Um, but yeah, as things stand, we're looking quite decent in terms of these players, in terms of their XP. Apparently, Gift Orban is very close to joining uh, the likes of Spurs. So that's maybe something to look out for. Uh, but generally speaking, I have, lift, uh, I have listed Romeo Lavia now uh, for one ETH. We'll see what happens. Uh, if anyone comes in with a reasonable offer, I'll go ahead and sell him on because he's not joining Liverpool. He's joining Chelsea, which... Yep, I now have Chelsea's midfield. I have Caicedo and Lavia. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to sell the Super Rare. I'm not interested in a Chelsea Super Rare. That's just me. Uh, and then we have, especially now that they have hurt us so badly in the transfer window, uh, I am bitter like that. But yeah, I am going ahead and looking at the uh, percentages once more here. Barisic uh, transferred to Basel. Yes, apparently he is going to Basel. So that's a really interesting one for me. Uh, he's going to be playing in a Swiss league where I think he could absolutely dominate because I think the Croatian league is much better than the Swiss league, I'll be honest with you. And then going down the list here even further, any percentage changes that I can recognize? No, nothing there. But it is what it is. We did all right. And uh, I'm happy to be back in the rewards game, man. I really am. I have been... Um, you know, missing this. I, I am fine with picking up smaller rewards here and there. And uh, for this upcoming game week, 399. Let me show you guys a couple of the lineups I've put together. I've, I think, I'm, I don't even know which one it is that I want to play. I have done a couple of drafts here. I think Risky one was one of the ones that I really liked. So Champion Europe Rare, obviously Liverpool against Bournemouth. We go full stack. We captain Salah again, which was the right choice in hindsight again, because I think Salah is going to score tons of goals and assists. And uh, yeah, I think he's the one to captain over Trent. Yep, I said it. Uh, All-star rare. We have very good matchups for a bunch of our players with, a home, uh, with the only one having an away game that is Griezmann. And then we have all-star super rare, which has, again... We have the Fine Ord boys in there because they can basically beat anyone in the league convincingly, even if it is away from home, unless we're talking about the big, big teams over there. So Sparta, I don't necessarily see Fine Ord going ahead and losing over there. I see them winning and the odds show the same. And Getson is playing at home. Getson is ridiculous. He's my captain. And then Champion Europe Super Rare. We could be going and doing a setup like this. Getafe are going to come across to Girona to play them. Girona at home. I do think they could do really well. 
Almeida playing at home against Las Palmas, newly promoted. That could be a good matchup. And then Vogel is playing against Nice. Could see good AA there and possibly a clean sheet. Under 23 rare, we're putting in the Bayern boys alongside some of the Feyenoord lads and Diogo Costa. And then Challenger Europe rare, we have a team set up here as well that you guys can see. Sorry, maybe you couldn't see this one because of my camera. Uh, but you can see that we have a setup here in Challenger Europe rare, which I might have to rework because Gift Orban might be on the move to Spurs. We'll see what happens there. And an all-star rare pro, we could possibly have this lineup uh, as a... Um, as one to try and win a reward with because uh, I do not have the players to run cap 270 and uh, have a strong team there. So I'll think about that. Uh, maybe I'll change something, but you can see like with the amount of drafts I have now, I'm not too sure on what to do yet. But what I want to do is put in the strongest lineups I can. And for that, I obviously need to monitor the information that comes through throughout the week. So I'll be going ahead and doing that. But guys, that is me done for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. We are back in the rewards game and I'm very happy about it. Have a good one. Take care and peace.